Well, it's morning here, so good morning. Welcome back to my channel. What I actually had planned for today, I changed my mind. I was all of a sudden just thinking of my grand puppy and a friend of mine's dog, and I was in the mood to make doggy treats. Yeah, maybe that was to prevent me from eating. <laughs> I don't know. So that's what we're gonna do today. Are you ready? Generally, I would use whole wheat flour just for the nutritional value but I don't have any right now and with COVID, I try to avoid the grocery store as much as possible. And white flour is okay. It's okay for them. So let's start with a couple of cups of white flour. In the bowl. Look at me measuring, right? To measure out the flour, I use this type of a cup, you know, so you can knife off the top of it, get more accurate. Like that. When you're baking, even if it's doggy biscuits. It's better to really measure accurately. I know, when I'm cooking for myself, the dishes you've seen me do, not so much. While we're preparing the batter and rolling and cutting, you can turn the oven on at 350. We're gonna be cooking these for 15 minutes. Next, we add peanut butter. It's a half a cup of peanut butter and two eggs. Oh my God, I like just dripped the whites on my foot. <laughs> oh, this is not good. Anyway, well, the remainder of the eggs are going in. I think I told you before, I'm like the messiest cook, but everything is generally delicious. And when I have help in the kitchen to clean, I so appreciate it. Peter Bear going in. I should mention that I use an organic no sugar added peanut butter in these biscuits because, well, the dogs don't actually need the extra sugar added. Okay, maybe neither do I. We're gonna mix that all together and form the dough by adding, we have a quarter of a cup of water to add. I think it actually ends up being more like a third of a cup of water, but it, de it just depends. So let's mix it up. I'm gonna add in probably about half of the water right now. There we go. Let's see how that goes. Take the rest of that. Actually, it worked perfectly. It's exactly what we need. So, I'll finish that and then we'll roll it out. I actually lay out a piece of like um, saran wrap on my granite counter and then I flour that. I think it's a pain in the butt to try to clean it up after. So for cleaning purposes, I put the cling wrap, both the dough before it's cooked and after it's cooked into doggy biscuits can be frozen, which is a very handy thing. All right, so let's roll this out on my floured, saran wrap covered counter <laughs> all right this is from pampered chef and i have had it for years i'm not even sure if they make this exact uh model shall we say um anymore but it's fabulous i love it <laughs> so shout out to pampered chef all right so i'm gonna roll that out to probably about a quarter of an inch in thickness you want to get it pretty even. Now this is just a small amount that I have and it will puff somewhat, but about that thickness is good. Now, catch here is I do not have any cookie cutters in the house either. So I had the top to a container and I cut out now they're see-through. Can you see this? <laughs> I have a doggy biscuit. I have a heart. I have like a paw and I'm gonna like trace them out. And I was also thinking that the top of this glass would be a good size. I could press into it. And awesome, I think that'll be great. And we could maybe poke in four little paw marks and then go like this. Oh yeah, that, that'll work. There one for the pad. 
<laughs> All right, so I'm gonna cut these out and go from there. This is some of the glass cut biscuits. You can pop a few right out here. This works like a charm now. If I only had some cookie cutters, it wouldn't have taken me so long to cut out the biscuits and the hearts and the little paws. These work just terrific. But you can just pat them down if you want to make them look neater. You don't have to do that. I do. Also, instead of the fork poking in the in the dog bone shape, I also sometimes, I like the holes a little bit bigger. It's really just appearance purposes. And it also helps it to make it even easier to break, I think. Um, I use a skewer. I'll show you the difference. They're both cute, right? These are just a little larger and separated more. And crooked. How cute are these? And just keep rolling and cutting and laying them out. Here's some backups ready for their turn to get into the oven. Today I actually opted for a countertop oven that I have that's very efficient and it doesn't heat up the entire condo and today it's a little warm. So I'm going that route. So I'm doing smaller batches but it's probably just over a couple of dozen anyway so that's not an issue. However, if you were using a standard size oven, it's a one batch deal, a couple cookie sheets, in you go. I'm gonna put them in the oven that has been preheating at 350 for 15 minutes. Sometimes you can like take a feel and maybe turn the oven off and let them sit in there for a while so they get to that crispy point. Okay, my timer went off, it's been 15 minutes. I shut the oven off and I'm gonna leave them in there for a little while See if I can dry them a little further. I'll go back and touch them in a couple more and just play it by ear. Aren't these doggy biscuits just adorable? Thank you so much for being with me today. I hope you enjoyed those doggy biscuits as much as I enjoyed making them. I always like to make goodies for my grand puppy Apollo. Take care. If you, if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Share it. If you haven't yet subscribed, I hope you consider doing so. And I'll be back next week with, I don't know, monkey treats. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> See you then.